Well, hello there, Pisces. How are you guys? How are you doing? I hope everything is good with you guys. This reading is for the new moon <clears throat> in Sagittarius. Um, and it will, it's usually timeless. You know, these readings are timeless because the new moon can be a beginning for things that are everlasting, you know, but there, it's a beautiful energy for starting things, whatever they are, being them physical, emotional, love, wealth, health, etc. You guys, you have an emotional depth that is very hard to find anywhere else. I keep repeating this in your readings, but I know it's true. You guys are amazing, you're psychics, you're seers, you're intuitive, and you are very beautiful. Never doubt yourselves. Venus is in Taurus at the moment. It's a very organized and beautiful energy for love. And I feel many of you guys are going to be getting a lot of love within this coming month from many different sources. <laughs> okay, let's see what the first card the fairies have for you, Pisces. Give me a card for the sign of Pisces for the new moon in Sagittarius, Aries. Thank you. Give me a card for the sign of Pisces for the new moon. Okay. So the first card, you got the little girl or the child card. It's a card of innocence and purity and someone being innocent or pure. Maybe misunderstood at times, but it's not usually anything uh, fixed or anything like that will last for long. There is here an energy of new beginnings with the card of the child, but it essentially is a card of purity. And purity is the best energy for getting a psychic gift, for magnifying that gift and for growing it. Being as pure as possible because if you notice children and animals, they see spirit, they can hear them, they can feel them. And uh, that's because how they're pure because of the purity that they have. You have been waiting for something to manifest in your life or to come through, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. And I feel that this energy now, the new moon in Sagittarius is favoring that very much. And I feel for many of you, that is gonna be what will happen. Many of you feel that already and they have, you have like a, a psychic gift. Maybe someone here is a gifted psychically or someone who reads people or wants to start a business with regard to readings, please go ahead. I think I've seen this in your reading. I've done a couple of days ago. Now it's coming up again. If someone's watching and, th and you're thinking of that, go for it. You are definitely anointed and definitely a chosen one. You know, that people, they, they need to um, hear from you. They need to see what you have to offer. If you already are doing something like that, you've got a lot of power here. Okay, and I think you're using it very wisely. You're like, you've got the energy of the goddess. Or they say the goddess, the energy of the divine feminine within you. It's very powerful. A lot of love. Thank you guys, I feel it. You see, the next card you got is the garden. So the garden is a card of fame, recognition, and people knowing what you do and receiving it very well. If it's something that you want to start, definitely 100%. I'm telling you, these readings are a sign for you to go ahead with it. You know, you can trust them because they come from good sources, you know, and I'm grateful to be accurate, you know, um, in my readings. I do really pick up on the energy. You've got a lot of abundance, a door of abundance that will open for you connecting to this. And people will be very intrigued by you. I'm feeling very interested. <laughs> Energies. The number two, 22, number 20 is important for you guys. And also you've got, um, oh my God, Did what was I just saying? You've got the card number 22. <laughs> so maybe you're 22 or you have something going on with the number 22. But the year 2022 is a year of like new uh, love and, and unions. If you're thinking about love, this thing is definitely happening and you've got a strong psychic connection or will have with someone very soon. 
Those of you who want people to come back from the past, they aren't coming, but you're being approached by many energies or you're reaching out to many energies. There's a lot of communication here. You're like a rose in a garden. People smell your scent, they come flocking towards you. You're something, someone amazing. The road ahead of you is open, okay? And you've got both the sun of the, and the moon in this card. So it's an energy, balanced energy. Very balanced, very connected energy here. Options will be showing up for you soon and you can choose what you want to do, how you want to do it and so on. You'll be getting ideas and downloads now very soon. If you haven't already, I think you've already been getting them. But you're just biding your time, you want to see what, what, how something develops before you do anything. Which is a good thing. But definitely expect big changes, especially when it comes to abundance and to love. The month of June is very uh, um, auspicious for you. Oh, let me see what I was saying. You've got the fish. So <laughs> the fish is a card of abundance. You've got it in your reading, Pisces. You know, your guy's symbol is fish. So you've got it in your reading. Someone very powerful is watching this. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for your energy. You're amazing. You're lovely. You're gorgeous. You're attractive. And you're someone who has a lot of joy within you and you can bring joy to people. The fish card talks about money. It also can be talking about soulmate connections. And it, when, when it comes out in a reading, the fish card cancels all of, all of the negative connotations of the cards before it. So you've got the fish card here and it's definitely cancelling out anything negative connected to any one of, of the other cards. So I think that this new beginning, with what I'm, from what I'm seeing here, is going to be the most amazing thing that's ever happened to you, Pisces. You're going to stand out like a sore thumb. Everybody's going to see you and everybody's going to know what, what power you have and what you can do. The road in front of you and the options even that are coming towards you are going to be absolutely gorgeous. There's going to be people talking to you, options coming in, also the ideas, the creative ideas that you're going to be getting are going to be mind-blowing. There is a connection coming here towards you, a new connection in love or someone that you're thinking about. It could be a same-sex relationship, I'm seeing the rainbow, today I'm seeing in a lot of readings this rainbow. And it's about, yeah, this couple, they have a psychic connection. If you've got Pisces anywhere in your chart, this still works. It doesn't have to be your sun. It could be Ascendant, it could be Venus, it could be anywhere. Now, look, this is one of the best readings I've done tonight. And if you want to start some kind of new business or new endeavor, take this reading as a sign for you to go ahead with it. You really have the potential here for stardom. For people really knowing who you are and what you do and for you making it big. This love situation that's coming into your life, Pisces, is big, it's not small. And it's very different from what you've had before. Because I think in the past, there have been a lot of connections that you've had that were focused on sexual attraction or something like that. Only, like you felt people may be coming towards you just because of that. Or maybe because of money. But this time, this person that you're going to be talking to is going to be very different. And I think you're gonna, it's going to, you know, blow your mind. It's really powerful. And this person is not a materialistic person. They're very emotional in a good way. So they'll be a very good match for you. You do heal them as well. Once you start talking, you're going to start healing this person. And you're, you're like embracing them emotionally as well with everything they've got. Something weird that I'm getting with this connection, it shouldn't really work out. These star signs, they don't match together. <laughs> but we have to be mindful of the fact that when we address compatibility, we take the whole chart into account. Not just the sun, the sun signs. Okay, for example, you could be interested in Aquarius or a Capricorn, which are Earth or Air, uh, but they're not like really compatible with Pisces in love, superficially speaking. But when you do the whole chart, you could find, for example, that the person's Venus is in Scorpio. 
or their seventh house, house, which is the house of marriage and relationships, for example. And then you get along in a really amazing way. And I feel this is what kind of what's going to do. Someone is hesitating about someone, but I think you've got the okay to go ahead or that person has the okay to come towards you. There's a lot of financial abundance as well that is coming towards you that you have no idea about. It's just going to be pouring into your life from different sources. I'm literally feeling like, you know, that bedazzled feeling like it's coming from every direction. So I'm expecting amazing things. You have divine energy. Someone here is connected to the Middle East or like to royalty or like to, I think, um, like really special bloodlines. Um, and I think you know that about yourself. You have that feeling that you are connected to these bloodlines and you are just know that this is a confirmation as well. Strong energy of the Middle East here. I don't know who's watching, but I think you are, you know, you're amazing. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming here. We love you very much. Wow, you guys, this was amazing. Okay, but definitely superstar energy. I love you guys so much. I'll finish this with a prayer for you guys. My dear God, please again, come into the life of Pisces. Give them the most amazing fame, money, uh, everything that they want. Give them this love relationship, my God, that is beautiful. May it come to them freely. May it come to them with power. May anyone they approach accept them with open arms. May this be an everlasting love. A true connection of love where both people are happy, cared for, feel warm, can feel that they are wanted and heal each other and enjoy each other's company. Give them lots of joy and laughter, my God. My God, please come into the life of Pisces and help them with anything new that they want to start. Make it fireworks, amazing, crazy, fabulous, magnificent. My God, we ask you to give them, give them health, wealth, love and happiness and joy beyond their wildest dreams and may we ask you my god please in your most high name protect them from all harm amen thank you guys so much you guys are amazing remember that and i love you so much i will see you guys in your next reading please like share and subscribe if you have got a moment um and i will see you guys soon thank you pisces be blessed